behind us here, we have the uh, building that uh, currently houses uh, Revy Outdoors and uh, Conversations Coffee House. It was built as a single building, as you can see, in 1907. Uh, for the P. Burns Meat Company. And Burns Meat was a really big uh, butcher business, uh, meat uh, business operated out of Calgary. And they had branch stores in quite a few places in Western Canada, including the big store here. So uh, we actually have a photograph in the archives of this building under construction. And uh, you can see the big pile of bricks on the side. And you can see people standing on the ledge there uh, when just standing there for getting their picture taken when there was not much of the building built above them yet. And uh, you can see they're, they're just starting to build it. But it was built to house two separate buildings. So you can see the little uh, bridge in the middle there. So uh, that one goes back to 1907. And next to it, as I mentioned, is the Bank of Commerce. It was uh, built there in 1910. Uh, has some really lovely features. It's one of those buildings that it's uh, worthwhile walking by and looking up and having a really good look at to see all the, the features in it. Now, the next building is, is a bit of an oddity. It was built in 1911 by a man named Robert Housen. And Robert Housen had been in Revelstoke since uh, 1890. He uh, purchased a uh, furniture store and he purchased also the business of the man who was running the, uh, the funeral services in town. So he became sort of the, the funeral uh, chapel director and also was selling furniture. Um, he, in 19, he used to have his businesses on the far end of the street that later burned down. Uh, he built, in 1905, he built his family home, which was at the, the, near the very end of Mackenzie Avenue. Um, I believe it's 815 Mackenzie Avenue. And it was one of the most beautiful heritage homes in town. It's still considered a really lovely home. And then he turned around and he built the ugliest building block in town. <laughs> um, and this was 1911, so people were still building nice Victorian style buildings. There's a couple nice brick buildings on this side that were built in 1912 and 1913. So it's not like it was a different era. It was the same area where, era where people were still building the really attractive buildings. But he, he went really functional. It was made of, uh, it's a concrete building. And it's actually saved it because there were two firewalls in there. And there's been at least three fires in the building, but it's never taken down the whole building just because of, of that construction. But it actually looks a little prettier now than it did when it was, when it was first constructed. Very, very functional and plain.